Well guys, the secret is out. We did make the route seat all wheel drive. I did my best to keep it a secret from you guys, but I had a couple slip ups, uh, some videos you could barely see the transfer case uh, hanging off of the transmission. And then that one video where I said, how cool would it be if the route seat was at World Cup competing against other all wheel drive Civics? And I didn't even catch that in editing and I left it in. And a lot of you guys caught on to it, but then it also left a whole bunch of you other guys confused if we were actually making the route seat all wheel drive. So I think it kind of worked out. We're actually over in Florida right now. You can see Ruby behind me. We're staying over at Cletus's right now. And I just wanted to film a little intro to this video, just kind of explaining to you guys that the all wheel drive process on the route C definitely took a good amount of work and a good amount of time. And there was a lot that went into it. I mentioned in the video that it kind of all just went up in a day. Um, as far as the work goes and you know putting it all together, that is kind of true, but there was a lot that went into making the route seat all wheel drive, especially with getting all these parts uh, sent overseas that you are about to see here very soon. Um, when the video actually kind of starts, you'll see us with Matt and all this stuff was filmed over a month ago. And this is something I had been setting up for a very long time. It was my ultimate goal with the route seat was to not only make it, you know, a thousand horsepower sequential, but also to get the all wheel drive stuff for it. And I was going to make it all wheel drive no matter what it took. And it just so happened that one of you guys a long time ago in the comments said that, hey, I think they made an all wheel drive version of that exact Odyssey. And I saw the comment and I did a little bit of research and I never really saw too much of it. But then I thought about it again and I did more research and I really had to dive in deep to find that it was an actual thing that Honda did and they made an all wheel drive Odyssey, but it was never introduced to the States. It was only in Japan and like the UK. I don't even know the full statistics about it, but long story short, we were, we were able to track one down and get the rear end of one sent over to us. And yeah, I'm just gonna let you guys watch the full video. Um, I was gonna turn this into multiple parts, but I just threw it all in one. You can probably see the length of this video is pretty long and that's why I kind of stepped out right now just to let you guys know that I just wanted to put it all in there just to show you guys the full process start to finish of what it took to make the route seat all wheel drive. And yeah, I just think this is gonna be super awesome. We still have to test it out and stuff like that. But yeah, I just want you guys to sit back and enjoy the video and just know that a whole bunch of time went into making this happen. And for those of you guys that guessed it, congrats, you were right. The Odyssey is going all wheel drive. But uh, yeah, just wanted to say that. Please watch the video all the way through and let me know what you think. We'll catch you back at the end. There it is, all the way from the UK. Got it dropped off this morning. Got a lot of special parts inside this plastic right here on this pallet. What's in the package? Dang. Dang. That's some rare parts right there. Do they know what it is is the question by looking at it. Got a box of chocolates with yeah, it? Yeah, these are the best chocolates you can buy in England. Nice. Ah, oh, damn. No chocolates, just some boring bolts. <laughs> really important ones. <laughs> yeah, they're important bolts. Yeah, so as far as I can tell, that literally just bolts up in the stock location. Dude, it looks like it will just all bolt right up. It should do. It's all together, so. Yep. <laughs> Got the diff on there, the rear axles. The only thing we're missing is the drive shaft, but it was way too long to ship. So we'll get a drive shaft made. Dang. The arms, got it all. Good springs. Yep. Definitely need to have- cables as well, so you can uh, still retain them if you want. Yep. Definitely gonna need to get all this like sandblasted and repainted. It's been sitting in a field near the ocean. Yeah, it's basically been the salt got to it, but I mean, just a whole bunch of surface rust, it'll clean up. All right, so what you're looking at right here is the rear end out of a Honda Odyssey Prestige from the UK. Uh, this is super rare, but they came all wheel drive from factory. And if it weren't for Matt, uh, this would have probably never happened. So you guys are seeing this video later on. Matt's actually not with us right now, but this is when he is with us. So it's pretty cool because you got to kind of see it all show up because he got it sent out before he came over to the US. And when we got here, the pallet arrived as well. And uh, 
yeah, so what we plan on doing with all of this is since it is pretty dirty and kind of rusted up, we're gonna probably get it all cleaned off, get it uh, sandblasted, repaint it all, and you know, just make it nice before we stick everything into the van. But before we can even do that, uh, we do have to double check that it fits in the van at all. So what we're actually getting ready to do right now is we're gonna pull the MR2s out of the way. We're gonna get the Routacy in here and pull the back rear subframe out of it and make sure that this all bolts up and uses the same bolt locations because knowing Honda, it's probably all gonna bolt in and that's what we were hoping for. I took several pictures of my rear end uh, before we uh, ordered all this stuff just to kind of verify that it was the same. And from what we can tell, it looks identical in the pictures, but you never really know until you get it. And since we don't have many of these to measure off of, we just kind of had to chance it and order this one and see if it just bolts right in. So we're hoping this will just bolt right in and making our Odyssey all wheel drive will be super simple if it all just goes right in. So we're gonna go ahead and get that over with today. And uh, yeah, if this bolts right in, this is gonna be sick. What you think about that? This is amazing. The Routacy is going to be real rowdy now. It's rowdy now. Oh my it's God. looking like it should just bolt in. So the shock bolts, which are these ones, seem to be the same, but then the other ones go to holes that are not used, these guys right here. So they're not threaded, but we might just have to run like a long bolt through it or something. Yeah. But obviously that was for the all-wheel drive model. That's like why the hole's even there it was for that other mm -hmm. subframe. That's wicked. Yeah, it looks like it'll just go right in. We're gonna have to take the gas tank off and stuff, but I don't think it's gonna be bad. No, this looks awesome. Just go right together. I can't wait to see this, man. Yep. Oh. Yeah, it looks like this is like the CRV style diff. It also looks like we could just bolt in a wagon diff straight in. This is a wagon diff we have. And if that one doesn't work out, we can always switch to the Wago diff if we need to, because it's literally the same exact bolt pattern. You can kind of see it down in there, and all the diff fluid kind of this is spilled cool. out of it, but... Ultra rare, <laughs> all-wheel drive so Odyssey rare. parts. We're seeing the parts right now, that's cool. All the way from Japan to the UK, and then back yeah. to America. All around the world. All around the world. There's probably only a handful of these in the States, if any. Dude, I cool. Matt was looking around for hours. People. Yeah, I spent two days trying to truck this down, but we've got it. Alright guys, so the plan was to unbolt everything out of the Odyssey and get all this bolted in to make sure that it fits, but what we ended up doing is we just took a tape measure and measured where everything mounts up and we can kind of confirm that uh, this will bolt up with no issues, regardless we'll make it work, but it looks like it's going to fit no problem. So we don't want to spend the whole day taking all this apart just to bolt this in, then just to unbolt it because we have to drop this off and get it all sandblasted, get all the rust off there and put this all back together so the Odyssey can roll out and spend way too much time. So we're just gonna go ahead, call it good, say that it fits, and we're gonna get all this stuff apart, get it dropped off for sandblasting, we'll get it all nice and painted, and then this stuff will be ready to go in as the build continues later on. So, I mean, by the time you guys see this video, this thing's already gonna have the case swap and everything in it, the sequential is gonna be in there. This is one of the last pieces of the puzzle and you guys don't even know about this, but this is actually one of the first things we're filming right now. This is the first major piece we got for the Routacy build. But uh, yeah, it's pretty sick. All right guys, it is time to get all of this stuff cleaned off and painted. So since this stuff came from an Odyssey that was by the ocean, as you could tell, it had a whole bunch of surface rust on it. And I'm getting ready to sandblast this piece off. Uh, I have Wyatt Sandblaster over here, got it topped off with sand, and this just hooks up to the air compressor and I'm gonna get it all blasted off so we can repaint it. And I just kind of laid some cardboard pieces down. Should probably use like a tarp or something, but all I got some cardboard, so that's what we're gonna work with. And for now, I'm just going to be sandblasting this piece because I think I can reuse like the control arms and stuff like that off the Odyssey uh, already. So I don't think I have to do much to those parts, but we will find out later on. Uh, I just want to get this painted and cleaned up so then we can start taking everything out of the back of the Odyssey and seeing how all this is going to fit up inside of it. But I'm going to go ahead and get this guy blasted off and get her painted. Just 
Just got this stuff all sandblasted off. This stuff definitely makes a huge mess, so I got some sweeping to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all this sand and uh, get my cardboard pieces cleaned off. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start getting these guys all painted up. But yeah, came out pretty good. I've never sandblasted before. That is definitely a process. Could probably go a little more on them, but I got all of the major surface rust off and I think that's gonna be perfect to get them all painted up. It started to get windy outside, so we brought everything inside and shut the door just so no dirt or anything uh, blew all over this stuff since it is still drying. But as you guys can see, this thing is looking brand freaking new again. Really happy with how it came out. So yeah, that subframe is looking awesome compared to what it just looked like with all that rust on there. You guys look at it now, it looks like it just came from the dealership. It looks brand freaking new. They got that little piece painted over there. So that just bolts right back onto this piece, so that needs to dry for a little bit longer. And uh, yeah, really happy with how that came out. All right guys, so coming back to when we were assembling the Quave transmission, currently we're in the process of assembling it. This is a part we were hiding from you guys until now. Um, so yeah, obviously, you know, van's going all wheel drive, but this right here is a stock transfer case for the K-Series transmission. And just to show you guys what we did for a little bit of an upgrade as we are putting the Quave together, you can see this right here is a straight cut um, gear. So this goes on the bottom side of the diff. Here, where's the other one at? It's right here. So this is the factory one. So this one is the factory one that bolts on the bottom side of the diff. You can see we have the upgraded straight cut one, and then this is the factory uh, final drive gear that goes on top, and then the diff kind of sandwiches in between that, and then this bottom one is what actually connects to the uh, transfer case there. So this guy on the OEM one would just slide in like that, you know, and then that comes up here, connects to your gear, but we got the upgraded straight cut gear for that, and then we have the matching straight cut gear right here, and this guy replaces this gear, so this will go on just like that, and then that will you know, come up right in there. So we have our upgraded gear there to handle much more power for the all-wheel drive system, and then we went a step further, and we also went ahead and picked ourselves up this billet transfer case cover. This is from Drag Cartel, uh, gave us a discount on this guy. This thing is beautiful. So we are going to be taking apart this transfer case right here and stuffing all the guts from this into this new billet housing with the upgraded straight cut gears. So the transfer case uh, will also be upgraded as well. Because if you guys remember, Roman actually broke uh, one of his transfer case uh, gear setups and we're gonna try to do everything we can to avoid that the van does weigh a little bit more We're shooting for a lot of power So wouldn't be too surprised if we left the stock stuff in there that eventually it would break So we went ahead upgraded that and then this uh, stronger housing will hopefully help hold things together a little better But yeah, so as we are assembling this quaif right now We also have to get this stock transfer case pulled apart get all that stuff swapped over But yeah, I wanted to show you guys that we did upgrade the four wheel drive system in the transmission as well. So all this stuff is super strong. This is from PPG, also from Drag Cartel as well. If you guys you know, are interested, this is where we got this stuff. So you shout out to Jeremy. But uh, yeah, now back to the rest of the video. We're gonna start ripping the back end of the Radisee apart. We are going to be getting these control arms off, uh, this rear K-member piece that is factory with the Radisee because we have to put our new one on that houses the diff. And then another thing that has to happen is the stock fuel tank has to go. Uh, the UK version and like the Japanese version that came all wheel drive, it came with a tank that actually had a uh, tunnel cut out in the center of the tank so the drive shaft could go through it. Um, since this one's front wheel drive, we do not have that, and this tank is gonna have to go, and we are going to be switching to a fuel cell in the rear. Uh, so for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting all this stuff ripped out, get the fuel tank dropped out of this thing, and then we're gonna see how our new all wheel drive stuff bolts up, because there are some bolt holes that need to change a little bit, but from what we've gathered, just from measuring, it looks like it should just all bolt in. So that's what we're hoping for. It'll just bolt right in, it'll be quick and simple. And then another thing today is we got this drive shaft right here. This is out of a Honda Element, and this seems to be the same size bolt pattern as the diff that came with the all-wheel drive stuff from the UK. And then the other end will just go straight to our transfer case, because that's just a K-series transfer case. So we won't need any adapters, but from the looks of it so far, it looks like we are going to have to cut this and probably extend it a little bit, because the Radisee is kind of long. 
But uh, yeah, we'll find out more on that later. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff ripped out of the back. You got it, Spider-Man? Oh yeah. Fix it? Yup. Steady out. stream now. I don't know where I don't know where Roman went with the plug, dude. We're overflowing. <laughs> someone, someone call the police. Uh-oh, dude. I'm just I don't want to touch it. I mean what's in here? It'll just go into this. This is our coolant. We're just gonna get some uh, gas with our coolant. It'll be alright. Dude, there's so much in there. It's a fan tank. It's probably got one you put your finger on it. Cause then I'm just gonna be sitting there holding it. Oh, it's right here. I got it. Oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> it's literally right there, right? Oh, you're gonna. Oh. Take this. Yeah, I'll film you. You take it, cause I ain't touching that. Too much E85, dog. She oh. full. <laughs> She's still spewing out. Oh my god. <laughs> Oops. Whoops. So we got the straps holding the gas tank off. Everything is unbolted, the filler neck, all of it's gone. We got these brake lines and stuff out of the way. And we've been trying to pry on this thing with a decent sized pry bar and this gas tank is like welded to the damn van. So we got uh, Big Bertha over here. Yeah. We got to pry on her some more. Thinking these uh, pieces that like go up there, that kind of help with like vibration and stuff. It literally like glued itself to the van. So we've been prying on it and it sounds like it's starting to creak but we got to break her free and then we got the scissor jack right there to catch it. But this thing is on there. Good. No? Oh my god. Bro. <laughs> oh, oh, no, it's too hard. Let's do this. Let's go from the yeah, right. Let's do it. Oh! Come on, that side. There she is. God. <laughs> I think the other side needs it now, too. Oh, it's creaking. That's your dog. <laughs> <laughs> here like a oh, Dude. <laughs> Dude, she's in there. Oh, it's wiggling now it's though. It's wiggling, so. There's just one more on that side. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. my god. <laughs> <laughs> that thing was on there good. That's a big bar, dude. That's a big Yeah, we had to get big Bertha out. That thing's five and a half feet. <laughs> All the leverage. This one, this one. Put this one. Yeah, yeah, cut it. Cut it, man. You know? You guys told me to cut it. Oh, oh it just blows his head. Oh, my God. Shoulder, bro. <laughs> bro. Good thing I got sandblasted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She she splooged, dude. That was a wild one. That was a squirt. What was holding it though? Gas tank is out, dude. Nothing was holding it. I'm telling you, it was just stuck on there. It was these little pad things. Look, see these. Those little pad things were just stuck to the body. I mean, it hasn't been taken out in 25 years. Yeah. All right, we got the gas tank and everything pulled out of the back of the minivan, and now we are ready to check and see if the all-wheel drive rear subframe will bolt right up from our measurements. It looks like it should, so we're gonna go ahead and try to hang this thing up and see how it fits. Guys, this is so sick. It looks like this thing is just gonna bolt right up. Right now we just have two bolts holding it up. Um, it is just barely hitting right up there, if you can kind of see that. So we are going to have to trim that piece. And then I think it also might hit on uh, these pieces kind of right there. But if you look close, you can see these little plates are kind of spot welded on right there. And if you look kind of in the back there, that's where the old one mounted to, but we don't need that because these have this front piece that comes off of them. So I was thinking to actually drill the spot welds off that back plate right there and uh, take those guys off. There's one there and one right back over here. So I think I'm gonna take those off and then trim this piece and then it looks like this is gonna suck right up to those existing holes that weren't even being used uh, that were just you know already there in case 
you had an all-wheel drive model, which is awesome. These are not nut inserted in there, so uh, we might have to run a long bolt with a nut inside the van to make it work. I bet on the all-wheel drive model, that guy right there was definitely uh, nut inserted inside of there, so it would have just bolted right up. But yeah, once we make some clearance right there and on those guys, this looks like it's just gonna suck right up and be just bolted right into place. And it looks like everything off this old piece right here is just gonna work directly with that. So this is looking awesome. It's so crazy that this has existed this whole time. I literally had no idea these Odysseys came in an all wheel drive version. But once I found that out, thanks to Matt, he tracked one down in the UK. These were not available to the States at all. Like we said earlier, this is a super rare part. And the fact that it just bolts right into the back of the Routacy is just so freaking awesome. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to just drop this thing back down and uh, get that stuff taken care of. And looks like he's gonna bolt right up, which is just freaking amazing. And then we just gotta go ahead and put everything back together from there and then reuse the spindles off the one that came from overseas as well so we can run the axles. All right, I got these spot welds drilled out on both of these pieces that went in the corners here. So this is the piece that went right there. And like I said before, our old rear K member bolted uh, right through this hole right here. But since we have the new all wheel drive one, uh, we won't be using this at all. So got that uh, whole saw out of the way. And then there was another piece right here that I had to hammer off. It was really hard to get a sawzall or an angle grinder into this corner just because of all this stuff going on around it. So I ended up just hitting it off with a hammer. And then I took the color match spray paint that I already had and I just went ahead and sprayed over all that because there was some exposed metal just to help keep that from rusting later on. But yeah, got both sides done. And then I also got this piece right here cut off. So we should be good for clearance. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, bolt this piece back on and see if she fits. All right guys, the all-wheel drive rear K-member is back in and check it out. It is not hitting on anything at all. And before this part right here wasn't fully butting up to the subframe right here because it was hitting. But now when you push up on it, it goes right up to it. So we are good to go and that is freaking awesome. All right, so we got our new rear all-wheel drive K-member bolted up into the Odyssey right now. And this is the one that came out, the factory one. This one still looks like it's in really good shape. And this right here is the one that came on the pallet with all the all wheel drive stuff. As you can see, this one's also super rusty as well. Like this control arm is all rusted out. The caliper has a whole bunch of surface rust on it. All this stuff needs a lot of work. I'd have to probably give it the same treatment as I did that, get it all like sandblasted down, repaint it all. And that's a lot of extra work. And then this piece over here that came off of the Odyssey, this one looks like it's in great shape. And um, from what we can tell, all this stuff looks like it would literally just swap right onto this spindle right here. Um, we only have to reuse this spindle unless we do need these other parts for some other reason. Like they might be a special bolt pattern, but it looks like this control arm will bolt right up to this. This piece is the same as this piece. This lower control arm is the same as this one. And literally I think all this stuff will swap right over to here and then we can put all that into the back of our Odyssey. And I just power washed this stuff off and this stuff is in really good shape. The only part we're gonna have to reuse is just the spindle right here because we've got our rear axle right here that came on the pallet and this guy will fit right into that just like that. So the only piece I think we really need is this guy and then it looks like all this stuff's just gonna swap right over and be nice and easy. So that's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking all this apart. I'll take all this apart and then just use all the good parts with that spindle, stick it all back up in there and I think we could set it on the ground and. She'll be officially all-wheel drive after that. She'll have all the parts she needs, so I'm gonna go ahead and start ripping all this apart.
Oh my gosh, guys, check it out. The Radisee is officially all-wheel drive. Just got everything kind of bolted in. I did actually have to use the old rusty arms. You can see right there, and then also this piece right there. I reused those because uh, when I went to get the old control arms off the original K-member piece, this bolt right there and this bolt right there uh, are completely seized into place. I got the nuts off the back side of them, but the bolt is fused to that inner bushing metal sleeve right there. I even took this little induction heater, got those things glowing red, and they just did not want to hammer out at all. They should literally just hammer out right now, but they are just seized in there. And then I uh, even tried putting a breaker bar on there and I tried turning it and then I started to shred the bushings on the inside. So it was a whole process trying to get those off. So I ended up just throwing the old ones on. Uh, my plan is just to order some new ones of these since they are not four wheel drive specific. Um, I can hopefully just order some new ones or go to the junkyard and just find some other ones. But if I can find some new ones, then it'll come with brand new bushings and everything like that. And then I can also try to order uh, a new one of these pieces right here so we don't have those ugly rusty parts anymore but for right now it is starting to get late so I wanted to get all this stuff mocked up because I'm getting ready to take the drive shaft to a drive shaft shop tomorrow morning uh, because I'm pretty sure we need to extend that guy uh, that's on the ground right there we are going to get to that in just a second but everything is on and in place and this is freaking awesome guys so if you come over here to the diff and spin this guy see our axle spinning and our tire is spinning so it's all in there and then this scissor Jack right here is just kind of putting pressure on that guy since I don't have the bolts ran through that yet. So I just want everything uh, where it's going to be, but the diff is bolted in tight and then we have one of the back bolts uh, on because yeah, we're getting ready to get the drive shaft on right now, the one that we got from an element. And then when we took the little piece that it came with off of here, it was leaking like differential fluid out of this. So there might be a bad seal in there or maybe they just do that. Honestly, I don't know. This diff is really kind of foreign to us. We'll get into that. Uh, later on and I'll kind of talk about this differential but for right now so we can get out of here for tonight and I can get this drive shaft by tomorrow since it's Friday and I don't want the drive shaft place to be closed for the weekend I'm gonna get the element drive shaft bolted on and then we have another scissor jack over here or screw jack just to hold the drive shaft up in place and we're gonna measure how much more we need on the drive shaft and hopefully they can get that knocked out by tomorrow so I'll have a drive shaft before the weekend hits but yeah it's all in there guys definitely was a lot of work and a lot of it has to come back out to get cleaned up anyways but yeah this is freaking sweet i can't believe it all just bolted in like that so crazy all right element drive shaft is on really cool that it just bolts right up to our odyssey diff in the back and then this end is going to bolt right up to our k-series transfer case so you can see we are a little short there and we did just measure this with both hands but just for the camera we need about 11 and a half inches uh, extended on the end of our drive shaft there and then so we'll bolt right up and be good to go All wheel drive baby. All wheel drive minivan and then we're gonna have to make uh, Yeah, a mount to hold the carrier bearing right here I was really hoping it was gonna line up with this section because I could build off that really good But it's just slightly off the only way to make that work would be to like shorten that end Then add more length to this end which is just way more work than we need to do So I will probably build brackets that kind of come off of this and like 90 up and then just bolt it to that somehow but we will figure that out another day once the drive shaft is actually the right length and everything. So yeah, we're gonna take that tomorrow to get it lengthened 11 and a half inches. And then our drive shaft will bolt up and that's it. She's all wheel drive. Oh, like Freaking sweet, but it's a late night and we're gonna get out of here. All right guys, it is the next day and we have the drive shaft. Yes, we just picked it up, they got this end lengthened and Tom's over here too, he just got in town. Push it to me, Brent. He's helping out. Hold it, so let's push but it. But Rousey's I'll about to be all-wheel drive right now. This is awesome, man. She's gonna be all-wheel drive in about five seconds. It. We're just gonna have to build a bracket What's off of here for the carrier here bearing. Here, but yeah. I would come from here to here with a plate, you know, like a little box. So it's pretty stout. This is crazy. I'm excited. Let me get that, dude. I'm super stoked for minivan right now. All-wheel drive route to see. That's nuts. Well, guys, we got the drive shaft in, and that's it. Route to see is officially all-wheel drive. There's a whole bunch of little stuff that needs buttoned up on the rear, and then we still need to make a mount for this carrier bearing right here. We just have this ratchet strap holding her up, but drive shaft is in, and it's connected. Yeah, give her a spin. Keep spinning them. Check it out. 
Long Rear tire spinning. Look at that. Here, keep going. I'll get back here. She all wheel drive, boys. Whoop. Hell yeah. Yeah, that, <laughs> Roman's going. Easy, you're going to twist that one like you did yours. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's definitely long. They had to add quite a bit to the nose of it there to get it to fit. So she is a long drive shaft, but it works. It's so crazy that this stuff existed that just bolts right into the back. Just had to. People you know, are going to be researching this now. Yeah. <laughs> For anyone wondering, it's, it's called a, a Honda Odyssey Prestige. The Prestige Edition yeah. came all wheel drive. Prestige. Yep. They're going to have to have a coupler, but explain to them the couplers in the rear end in this. Oh, yeah. So we don't have a viscous coupler on this drive shaft. If a lot of you guys know about all wheel drive Civics and stuff. They normally run the viscous coupler from the Wago vans, and that helps take some of the dampening. Um, from like any differences in tires, size, or anything like that going to the rear, it has some slip, and that's normally built into the drive shaft right here. This diff is a little different, so we're thinking the viscous is built inside of the front housing of this drive shaft right here. Uh, it's similar to like a CRV and Element style, but they actually have like a little pump on the side, and they have like some clutch steel going on, but this diff is like nothing we've ever seen before, um, so we're just gonna kind of put it in and try it out and see how she works. Uh, later on, we do wanna take this apart because it would be kinda cool if this had discs in it, like a viscous, like right here. We might be able just to like rebuild the nose of this with better fluid and it will, you know, just be good like that. But yeah, we're gonna have to play with it some. It's awesome, man. Don't look at these little... But it's in there, yeah. I need to clean up. <laughs> no, he knows he has to yeah, I gotta, it I gotta tighten some bolts up, but it's all in there. And it looks good, man. Looks good. We just gotta get these arms cleaned up so the rust isn't on those, but. Yeah. That's awesome. yeah, it's freaking it's sweet. Perfect. So yeah. You said, yeah, you didn't have to fabricate no. anything. Yeah, literally like axles just and stuff like that all for the Grinch. I had to do all of that. Everything. Yeah, literally just all bolted right in. We just had to clearance a couple things, and this was a bolt-in all-wheel drive kit, I guess you could call it for the <laughs> for the Routacy, even though it's all OEM stuff, which is crazy. Just look at that. It's awesome. That's wild. Got our drive shaft ran. Yeah, and we got pictures from the uh, Odyssey that all this stuff came out of, and it just had a carrier bearing, and that was it. There was no viscous coupler or anything like that. So we're gonna try this diff out, and worst case scenario, if this diff breaks, which I'm not gonna be surprised if it does, um, we have a couple extra wagon diffs, and it's the same bolt pattern. I could just stick a wago diff back there, and those are proven to hold the power, and then we could just add a viscous. Yeah, we could just take that out and add the viscous like we need. But for now, we're gonna try it like this and see how it works. Because if this isn't, uh, you know, built too solid in there, like it's kind of wore out, it's just yeah. gonna let, let it slip a lot. Yeah, so I don't think anything's, nothing's gonna break. Yeah. Or this could be, you know, something that no one knows about too. Yeah, it yeah. It's, yeah, it's different for we sure. We don't know. <laughs> this, this diff is extremely rare, at least in the US. In the yeah. US, yeah. It's super rare. Yeah, I don't think you'll find one. Maybe Canada or maybe yeah. Japan. Not even, I don't even think Europe. Canada, I don't know. Somewhere. Well, but, you ain't getting it from nowhere right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really Good yeah. <laughs> Then coronavirus going around, you ain't getting nothing. Nothing right now. But yeah, this the all-wheel drive version was not introduced to the states, so that's really cool that our boy Matt was able to track this stuff yeah. down to make yeah, it happen. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, Matt. Because that's a huge help. Yeah, without Matt, I would have not found this stuff for sure. You know, we had to have it shipped over on a pallet. A one-day install. Yeah, it, it, yeah. In a day. it literally took like a day <laughs> just to put it in. All I had to do was wait for the drive shaft to get lengthened, and that was it. And they did that in a day too. Yeah, they did that the next day. So <laughs> yeah. it was a pretty quick process. Awesome. But minivan is going all wheel drive. This is probably either the first or very few of its kind in the US. Yeah. At least that I know of. I haven't seen another all wheel drive Odyssey out there. A K series all wheel drive Odyssey. On this thing yeah. is gonna be nasty. Yeah. Yeah. All yep. wheel drive. It's already it's already nice that it's, you know, fully built front wheel drive. Yeah, yeah and sequential. But now it's gonna be all wheel <laughs> yeah. yeah. But now she's gonna be all wheel drive. She's gonna have the back tires helping assist push the rest of the weight of this thing. Because traction was always a huge issue with this thing. Yeah, you know? traction. Just it would just blow out, the tires. How it all worked is just yeah. this is it's awesome. The weight transfer itself. Now, now if you go back to the video when we raced Leroy, you will see it literally the the whole the airstrip half, the it just smoked the tires. all the way down through all fourth gear. It just left a black yeah. stripe with, the whole way. There were slicks on it, wasn't that? The it had radials. Yeah, we have radials oh, on it. And it was and still it was just like, it. spinning I mean, like you see crazy. Car stuff, and the whole rear is swaying and it's all crazy. Right. This this should make it stable and rad. So now it's gonna sway like the red demon. It's gonna come out all. Hey. <laughs> 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 it's gonna all be so gnarly, dude. Really? Goals. 
I know a lot of guys were, a lot of guys guessed it in the comments. Yeah. They, well, they saw it coming. Yeah. And I actually just realized in the turbo video, I kind of, I barely mentioned it because I was like, I was like, can you imagine this thing at World Cup with all the other all-wheel drive cars? I said that in the oh, video. Damn, you slipped up, <laughs> man. I tell you what, you slip like that, everyone's gonna <laughs> they jump catch on everything. They I catch know. everything. They catch I tried to yeah. keep it a secret, but they got, so they realized after yeah. that video. Yeah. But still, they're, they're still thinking about it. Yeah. They didn't see it happen. Here it is. It's here. It's really happening. Yep. yep. It really happened. It happened. <laughs> it happened. It's done. Yep. The minivan is, it's all-wheel drive. Look at it. Mm -hmm. It's officially oh. all-wheel drive. Some fuel lines. Look at that. Woo. Yeah, we're not that it's far. It's so away from sick, driving, dude. Honestly. No, just some fuel lines. That. That's wicked. Fired up. Well, gotta keep her going. Oh, you, you got some gnarly angle with that drive. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Look at that. <laughs> Oh yeah! I'm getting the arm pump. And this arm one's pump's done. You're not giving her enough power to get the other one going. <laughs> oh, you're, it's trying. It's that open diff life. <laughs> Here now, go. I'm arm pump. Got to hold this tire because we got. Yep, there it goes. Oh yeah, she don't sound too good. Oh yeah, she's scraping on the brakes a little bit. We still got to clean it up. That's what's holding her up. That's just holding it. Yeah, yeah, it's putting just a little. Cleaned all the rust off the brakes. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cleaning the rust off the mm -hmm. brakes. Make it happen. But yeah. There she is, boys. So One carrier bearing mount away from being done on the all-wheel drive stuff and tightening some bolts. Boom. That's it. That's it. Hell yes. This is awesome. Maybe we She's it. almost there, guys. <laughs> Should, we Should we lift it? Maybe we lift it. Baja this thing? Yeah, for the rotavirus, you know, you never know. We have to get Max. away. We can off it. We can off it Mad, Max. Mad Max it out. Thousand horsepower <laughs> minivan. <laughs> Put some spikes on the front bumper. Mm -hmm. We're running. <laughs> Put a 50 cal on top. <laughs> a mini gun on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's getting crazy. Yeah. Stuff sh shutting down like crazy. Which we laugh now and then we're gonna be all quarantined or something. Yeah. And we're gonna be stuck. All right, so we are under the Radisee right now. You can see where our fuel lines kind of run. We did have these zip tied up along the side right here, but we actually cut all the zip ties back off because right now we are getting ready to take this uh, plastic piece off right here. This houses like the factory fuel lines and stuff. Uh, we're not gonna need any of that. You can see they're kind of cut back here. We need to get all this out of the way because right now I'm getting ready to make a uh, mount for the carrier bearing right here for the drive shaft. So I have some steel tubing right here. This is actually chromoly inch and a quarter tubing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to weld a plate on either side, right where the uh, bearing goes. And then this guy is going to weld in above the carrier bearing. And then off of this bar, I have these little inch uh, pieces of tubing. Those are going to sit on top like that. I'll notch these guys out and then these will weld to the bar that will be up here. I will weld some nuts on the inside of those and then the carrier bearing will bolt to uh, both of those. Those will weld up to the bar and then it will be nice and strong. Then we're using the uh, frame rails right here on each side so we know it's gonna be nice and strong and then that won't go anywhere and our drive shaft will be completely mounted up and ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and start ripping all this stuff off and I'm gonna get to work on cutting everything to length and getting it prepped to be welded. All right, so we got everything tacked into place and then I took everything out and got the bar welded to both of the plates right there all the way around. We got it all put back inside and then I cut these one inch tubes to length and I got the ends notched right here. And then if you look right there, there's actually a nut inside of this tube right here. So then the inside of this will be threaded. We're just gonna have to barely drill this hole out a little bigger for a bigger size. Uh, because this fit you know perfectly in that tube so that's going to be nice and easy to weld around it's very similar to like this nut right here how it has that lip on the edge of it so that's what's right there we got one on both sides and what i'm getting ready to do now is i'm going to tack this into place and probably just tack the nut real quick just tack everything where it's at so i can take it off for one last time get everything fully welded up and then we can finish cleaning off all this stuff and then get these plates welded in with the mig welder like i said earlier and she will be ready to go then we can get our bolts in and it will tighten down to those nuts inside of there. And that's it, our drive shaft will be all done and ready to go. And I think that's gonna look nice and clean. It's gonna be plenty strong with this chromoly bar right here going to either side of the frame rails. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take it all apart and get it knocked out. And we also uh, you know, looked from the sides to make sure that the drive shaft was nice and level. We put a level on this bar right here, make sure everything is nice and square. And then also going down this way, everything is nice and lined up straight. Uh, the transfer case is actually a little over to the driver's side corresponding to the diff. The diff is more centered 
and kind of this way. So the drive shaft does have a slight angle kind of drifting over this way overall, but that's how a lot of the all-wheel drive Civics and stuff are. But uh, yeah, everything is in line with each other. So that's all that matters. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and get this guy welded up and we'll have a drive shaft in the minivan and done, ready to go. That's it. Look at that. All right, guys, just got everything welded up and it is completely done now. Really happy with how the MIG welds came out because if some of you guys have welded on the frames of cars before with all this paint and gunk on there, you usually get really bad welds and it actually came out pretty good. I did have a tough time kind of getting up on top there, but I got them welded all the way around pretty good on both sides. So those are done. Everything's tight right here. So the drive shaft is mounted and ready to go. And once again, we got that done with our HTP welder here. So things working awesome. But yeah, super excited. Drive shaft is finally mounted and done. And there it is, guys. Rodacy is all wheel drive. Hell yeah. So we still have some other things to get done on this, but that was a big step to get it done was get that carrier bearing mounted and that is out of the way. Yeah, we'll see how this mount holds up, but I think she should be pretty strong. Yeah, that's just freaking sweet, guys. So we're gonna carry on and get some other things done. So it is nearly one in the morning. We have been staying up all night trying to get this thing finished up. We actually leave to Florida tomorrow and there's still a couple more things that need to get done on the minivan, but we got a lot knocked out and uh, we're about to fire this thing up and it's gonna be the first time we're gonna try to click it into gear and see if all four wheels are spinning and everything is working correctly. Got the mount and everything done today. Got the rear end put back together, everything's tight. We got the battery and stuff in and everything kind of wired up. So we're gonna try it right now. That's Get awesome. Live, boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, there it is. The Odyssey is officially all wheel drive. And if you've watched the video long enough to see this outro right now, I just want to say thank you for watching the video. And yeah, I wanted to do my best to make it a surprise for you guys. My original plan with the whole Routacy series was to build it start to finish and not even release the first video of it until it was completely done, dynoed, making a lot of power and ready to go. But with the situation going on, with everything going on in the world, um, and us you know, kind of rushing to come down to Florida in case we got stuck where we were at, uh, I kind of had to take a different route and I had to start posting the videos when the Routacy wasn't where I wanted it to be at currently. It is obviously not tuned. Um, we just got to Florida the other day and it still needs stuff before I can even drive it around it all. It's still not ready to go on the street even. I was hoping to release the series of videos in a little bit of a different way, but you know what? In the end, still got the point across. And yeah, the big reveal was that it is going all wheel drive, which some of you guys obviously guessed. I just wanna let you guys know that a whole bunch of work went into this thing and there's obviously a whole bunch more to come. And yeah, we're definitely taking on a big project here. This thing has the potential to be really fast if we actually buckled down and got a legit cage in it and we got the all-wheel drive system strong and working correctly, the minivan has potential to be very fast. But for right now, I see it as kind of just a fun thing to drive around and make a ridiculous amount of power and just kind of see where it goes. But we might drag race it and actually take it pretty seriously just depending on how it all works out. Um, but I just want to say thank you guys for watching all the videos we put out so far. We have a whole bunch more to come while we're out here in Florida. We just got out here and uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Uh, if you guys could do me a big favor, be sure to like this video if you've enjoyed the minivan series so far. Um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, definitely more to come on the Routacy. But 
that was the last piece of the puzzle was that she's going all wheel drive. So now that that's out of the way, we can move on with everything else. And I just wanted to put all of the all wheel drive stuff into one huge video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know it was a long one, but yeah, that was the whole process. Start to finish, crazy that we were able to find this stuff overseas and get it all sent over and it just bolted right into the Odyssey. It was freaking insane. It was almost meant to be, but yeah, I'm gonna stop talking, gonna go to bed. It's like three in the morning. So I will see you guys in the next video and thanks for watching.